हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम निधि एंड टूडे आई एम एक्साइटेड टू अनाउंस दैट आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ फ्री ए डब्ल्यू एस ई के एस बिगनर्स ट्यूटोरियल फॉर यू गाइज इफ यू आर न्यू टू ए डब्ल्यू एस इलास्टिक कूबरनेटी सर्विस एंड वॉन्ट टू लर्न हाउ टू डिप्लॉय एंड मैनेज एप्लीकेशन ऑन कूबरनेटीज यू आर इन द राइट प्लेस इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट वी विल कवर एवरीथिंग you need to know to get started with eks so the agenda for my playlist would be first we will cover the basics of eks what is amazon eks and why you should use it cluster architectures so we will understand how the kubernetes runs on aws including all the essential plugins or add-ons like core dns vpc cni kube proxy we will also set up a cluster eks cluster with all essential add-ons manually and also we will explore how to do it using terraform we'll also learn how to connect to your local cluster so once your cluster is there how you can connect from your local machine so that you can do the deployment or deploy any sample application on that the more we will be deploying workloads right so we will be creating the manage node groups aws fargate profiles and running applications over there we will also explore what is the difference what changes we need to do if you have to deploy your workload on fargate or if you have to deploy your workload on manage node groups we will expose the services so we will make sure that we'll set up the aws load balancer controller the ingress resources and advanced traffic routing we'll understand the access pattern so how you set up the access for your eks cluster so we will learn about iam roles iam users for the secure access and most important part infrastructure as code so once you do all those things manually at the end we will be deploying our eks cluster using terraform and github actions for the automation so if you follow my github link and use that code you should be able to create an eks cluster using terraform persistent storage in kubernetes so we will deep dive into the persistent storage and the concept of storage in kubernetes it is very complex and how does it works how all those components integrate with each other and as a bonus we will dive into the key differences and the cost comparison between eks eks auto mode which is the new feature that aws introduced and the aws fargate profiles so some pre request for this video you should have a basic knowledge of terraform basic kubernetes knowledge basic knowledge of helm and the basics of aws i have some uh, uh, tutorials on terraform kubernetes and helm that you can follow that will be updated in the youtube description for this video so here are some diagrams that we will be deep dive when we will be learning like eks access patterns how that access patterns work and this is some storage how how storage works in kubernetes so we will be talking about all those things in more detail in my videos this playlist is perfect for all the devops engineers and for all the cloud who wants to learn kubernetes on aws so if you are ready to start your kubernetes journey hit that like button subscribe and let's build together